Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. Sir, I have a question. Why do we see the stars twinkle? So, basically, when you have stars, uh, starlight coming through the atmosphere, there's a, a phenomenon called refraction. You must have heard of uh, study refraction in school, right? So, what does refraction do? It changes the direction of light because you have light going from denser material to lighter material or the other way around. The direction of light changes. So this happens with all light, whether it's a star or a galaxy or a planet or anything. Except that a star is so tiny when you see it from Earth that any deviation of light will look as if the whole star shifted its position. right? So the same thing happens with the sun also. But the sun is so large that when sun rays deflect from their original direction, you don't notice it, right? The, because the deflection is very small compared to the size of the sun. But for stars, the size of the star as seen from Earth is very tiny. So it looks as if it's f the star itself is shifting around. And that is what twinkling of a star is. So planets are slightly larger. Even though the planets intrinsically are smaller, their actual size that is apparent to us is larger. So even though there is a refraction still happening, it happens within the size of the planet itself, so you don't see it twinkling. Basically, the twinkling is averaged out. Yeah. That part is is moving. This part is moving, but because it's large, it, it averages out, and you don't see it twinkling. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, this is a star. This is a planet, as seen from the Earth. So, light from here is it's oscillating. So it looks as if sometimes the star is here, sometimes it's here, sometimes it's here. It keeps on fluctuating. Whereas here, if I do this, it will still fall within this disk. So there is no twinkling effect. But the same process is still happening in both places. And this particular thing is because of our atmosphere. Nothing to do with the star. Huh? Because of our atmosphere, because there's turbulence in our atmosphere. And this induces refractive index changes. Small refractive. Sir, I have a question. What are the constellations? Basically, just groups of stars that we have decided to group into a particular shape. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's it's a completely man-made uh, system, right? It's easy. It's an easy way for us to map the sky out. It's an easy way for us to know what we are looking at when we look at the sky. Uh, but the constellations also change from culture to culture. Right, like the Indian constellations are different from the European constellations. It's the same stars. It's just that the shapes that we group them into will change. Thank you. Sir, we can also see that there is a strong connection between the constellations and the astrological beliefs. Like in the Marathi lunar system, uh, each star sign has a particular constellation associated with it. So what gave rise to this uh, connection? Human mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Sir.